The other technology that was invented in 2013 that's very important to this story is called CRISPR. And it is a gene editing technology. So CRISPR stands for, I'm gonna read it, Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. And like I said, it is a genetic engineering technology. And this is kind of basically how it works. Bacteria has a defense mechanism that goes in and alters its DNA in response to uh, microbes and viruses. So that when the microbes and viruses come in and they attack that bacteria, the bacteria says, oh, well, I'm just gonna change the source code real quick so that those things don't harm me anymore. Now, humans, we, we can't change our DNA that quickly because our DNA changes usually result in mutations and cancers. But for bacteria that are very simple organisms, they can mutate every day all the time, which is actually one of the reasons why bacteria is dangerous, because everything that we use to kill that bacteria, it can kind of mutate and overcome. But because it has this built-in defense system that can edit the DNA, scientists discovered how to use that for everything else, just for DNA in general. They, they saw it as a DNA editing device and they realized that they could introduce the edits that they wanted to. Literally, scientists can use CRISPR to cut and insert DNA into sequences. This was huge. This was an enormously kind of scary technology with enormous implications. As we've been learning that it's going to be very difficult to get a viable nucleus of all the DNA of a mammoth, what we have realized is that we can start to edit the elephant genes so that they look more like the mammoth genes. And the reason why this might not be so impossible is because the woolly mammoth is a 99.6% match to the Asian elephant. That means there's only 0.4% of a difference in their genomes. So essentially, we would use cloning and CRISPR technology to resurrect the woolly mammoth.